Hello and welcome to another Bearded Geek toy review. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Moff Gideon figure from Star Wars The Black Series, including Dark Saber. Stay tuned. something I want. Welcome back to the channel and here we have the Star Wars Black Series Moff Gideon figure that was released earlier this year uh, that we're going to do a review on. Now Moff Gideon is played by Giancarlo Esposito who seems to have carved out quite a niche for himself playing villains of this type. Um, if you're a fan of the series Breaking Bad, you'll know that he played uh, the big crime boss who was in charge of the operations that Walter White helped support with his drug dealings. And also he's turned up in The Boys, which is the Amazon series uh, about rogue superheroes as the uh, CEO of the Voight Corporation. So uh, he's carved out quite a niche of playing these characters and he does a brilliant job as the evil Moff Gideon who is always on the lookout to get hold of the child down here, little baby Grogu. Uh, so here we go, here's the packaging. Uh, nice little detail there of artwork of Moff Gideon as he appears in the series. Now what you'll find is obviously if you get several of these Mandalorian Black Series figures that they all make up a various collage uh, once the figure packs are put together, which is a nice little touch. It's certainly different from the uh, previous packaging that the Black Series came in. And then on the back, as usual, you've got the standard um, description with artwork of the character, along with all the usual gumph down here, which is all the safety stuff that they have to stick on toys these days. And then just the Black Series logo down at the bottom there. So let's get this figure open and have a closer look. It does come with two accessories. He comes with his pistol and also comes with the legendary Dark Saber, which we saw him wield at the end of Series 1 of The Mandalorian. Now, the Dark Saber is obviously something that we have seen previously in Star Wars. First made its debut in The Clone Wars um, when it was wielded by members of the Death Watch in the Mandalorian sieges and then also we saw it um, appear again in Star Wars Rebels when Sabine Wren uh, took control of, of the Darksaber and the legend has it that whoever wields the Darksaber is uh, the ruler of Mandalore as the old legends go. Um, so obviously what's happened we still don't know between Star Wars Rebels between Sabine Red, uh, Wren handing it over to Bo-Katan, and then obviously Bo-Katan must lose it during that time, during the uh, time of the Empire gaining further control, and it must then end up in the hands of Moff Gideon, and then obviously uh, we then see the Darksaber. Um, well, spoilers if you haven't seen the end of Season 2, but uh, it then ends up in the hands of Din Djarin. The Mandalorian, so uh, that seems to be setting up a candlelight, a Mandalorian war or battle for the dark saber for the potential series three of the Mandalorian. When we get that, um, 
we're not actually getting that. It's not in production yet uh, because we're getting the book of Boba Fett first. Uh, that spin-off series is currently filming at the moment. And then we'll get season three of The Mandalore. Anyway, let's get the figure out and have a closer look at the figure. Now, the first thing you notice when you take the figure out of the packaging is he comes with this plastic cape, uh, not a cloth cape, as some figures do come with, and it is actually detachable. Uh, it does have a little peg on here, which you can then attach via a hole there. So let's just give that a, a kind of try and fit that in. Let's squeeze that in there. There you go. He looks a lot more imposing with the cloak on there. And like I said, here's a close look at the blaster. As you can see, accurate to the one he wields in the series. And here's the legendary Dark Saber. Nice little detail in there, the way you move it, it kind of like shimmers and shines just as the the Dark Saber does in the series. So it's kind of like got a black centre with white edging because uh, it's kind of like unique in the way that it glows. It's not your traditional lightsaber. So that's a good thing, we'll have him wielding that shortly. And the thing to notice again with the figure itself is once again the brilliant digital face sculpt there, uh, the digital face printing technology that Hasbro use with these particular figures. It really does look like the character. You cannot fault that for a second. Um, and the way these figures have really moved leaps and bounds on since uh, the Black Series started way back in 2013. Uh, this technology is just amazing, and it just does make each figure look very accurate to the actor or actress who plays that particular character. So as usual, uh, the detail with the costume, the sculpting, is all 100% accurate to how the character appears in the show. Uh, so his, his uniform is absolutely spot on there. Um, and again, if you're not going to have him wielding the gun, he does come with a little holster there. Let's just move the arm out of the way. And pop that gun in there because I think we'll obviously have him wielding the dark saber. So as you can see, that gun just, just goes in there. Uh, brilliant articulation as usual, lots of ball joints and nice stiff limbs for you to move around. Um, you can't really fault the state of the articulation on these figures. So let's just put the dark saber in his hand here. Oh, there you go. So there he is, wielding the dark saber. That's a very impressive figure. Uh, once again, Hasbro really have pulled out all stops there with the Black Series. It is kind of like the premier kind of like um, range now for Star Wars action figures collectible. I know they've still got the vintage collection going on, which is the uh, 3.75 inch range but um, I really do 
prefer the, the Black Series uh, six inch range. I think that's kind of like taken uh, action figures to another level from Hasbro's point of view. Uh, once again, another look there with that facial sculpt. Really just the actor justice. Giancarlo Esposito there looking particularly menacing. So this figure is now available in the um, on the websites and in stores. Uh, I reserved this uh, via the Smiths website and went to Click and Collect it because obviously in the UK we're still in lockdown here. Uh, but you can, it is available for home delivery and also various other websites such as Forbidden Planet, Star Action Figures, Kapow Toys, all um, should still have this figure in stock as well. Retails at 19.99 and is a brilliant addition to the Dark Series. Oh, the Dark Series? <laughs> the Black Series uh, collection. Now, if you've seen my previous figure review for the Sabine Wren figure, uh, you'll notice that I did mention that it was a bit of a shame that she didn't come with the Darksaber herself, because obviously she had wielded that particular weapon during Star Wars Rebels. And I did say once I was going to get hold of the Moff Gideon figure when he was released, uh, then I'd obviously have uh, Sabine Wren posed with the Darksaber. So let's just uh, do a little bit of a swap there and see how she looks with the dark saber oh so There you go, there's Sabine Wren holding the dark saber, and she looks pretty cool uh, as she's wielding that there. Um, like I said, it's a shame that uh, she didn't come with the dark saber as well, um, but I can understand the decision of why they've put the dark saber with Moff Gideon, as in the series he was currently the character wielding it at the moment in Star Wars mythology. Um, I suppose you could always get two Moff Gideon figures if you needed to, uh, if you wanted to have Sabine Wren um, wielding the Darksaber as well as having Moff Gideon. But um, just for the effect of getting an extra Darksaber, I think uh, 1999 is probably a bit too much to fork out. Uh, but she does look cool wielding that weapon because it's such a cool weapon. One final look there at Moff Gideon, uh, brilliant Black Series figure and highly recommended. So um, get out there and add him to your Black Series collection. Well, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video, then please leave us a like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. And also hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Speaking of which, the next video will be on the Predator figure from NECA Real Toys. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye now. <laughs>